Hello, my lovely Saggies. Welcome to Vivid Vibration. My name is Christina. I hope that y'all are doing well. Saggies, we have the Mother, the Destroyer, the Mask, the Comic, the Threshold, the Cave, and the Desert. Ooh, Saggies. Um, I guess I want to start with the Mother and the Destroyer because... I feel like, I mean, the mother is the idea of, you know, it's like two sides of the coin, right? Like you either cling to your children and seek your identity out of them, or you raise them up and trust that they've gone on their way. And I kind of want to say, Saggies, that the idea here is that like there's a community that you've been involved in and um, that you felt like, I don't, I don't even know that it's necessarily responsible for them, but, um, I like, I do kind of get that feeling, um, and you feel like you're, like, cutting the cords, um, but I feel like there's this, there's this conflict because I almost want to say that, you know, like, the mother, you know, like, I feel like saying, like, the children are like, we need you, we need you you know, and you're like, no, you don't need me. And there's, but like, there's this point of conflict, but surrounding this idea of like need, right? Like, what does it mean to be needed by somebody? And like, like, where do you draw the line with that? Right? Um, because I feel like there's just this, like this neediness that you're trying to like, break away from, because it feels like, like you have to to take on this persona in order to like tend to these people, you know, like a shepherd to the flock. But it's like, like you're not the shepherd and they're not the flock. You know what I mean? It's like you were like maybe you were friends and you were, you know, helping them along the way. But like it's not your job to like take care of everybody because if they don't ever learn how to take care of themselves, then they will always be reliant upon you. Um, and I, and I, again, it's just kind of this idea of codependency, I guess, um, you know, and just like trying to break away from the codependency, but feeling, you know, very out of sorts up because, you know, it makes you feel like you're being destructive. Um, but also like sometimes you have to be destructive in order to break out of a role that doesn't really fit you. Um, because I think the idea here, here is that you were starting to feel like, it, like you are never going to, to be free of this responsibility. Like it was almost, I feel like you were feeling like, I just see like an image of you being like buried, um, you know, and feeling like the weight of it, you know, like, it, and, and feeling like it was starting to really, because I do, I'm like, I feel like just like my throat kind of closing up, you know, like just doing this read. Um, you know, like, I feel like there's just an idea of like feeling like you're being suffocated, um, with this image that you're supposed to maintain on behalf of these people, but feeling like ultimately, like it, it leaves you feeling very just disoriented. Um, and I, and I, I think a little bit foolish, um, and then the threshold in the cave is the idea that you want to move towards something that's going to be more intimate with, with you, um, you know, because if we're surface level all the time, like, when do we ever get to dive deep, right? And I kind of want to say that, like, you've been surface level, um, you know, I don't, the, the Bible verse, um, you know, like, that's about the idea of, like, people who only drink milk, you know, like, babies' milk. Um, and they never move on to whole foods. I feel like there's kind of this idea of like, you can either enable people to, to continue to just drink milk and, and say that's enough, or you can say, okay, like you've, you've grown up enough. You should be able to eat solid food now. Um, you know, like it's time to go deeper. It's time to do more. And I feel like there are people around you who don't want you to go deeper, who don't want you to do more and are, are behaving as though they're so dependent upon you that they can't do it without you. And holy fuck, that's exhausting, right? <laughs> okay, Saggies, let's see what else we can get for y'all. Hope everyone's doing well. Oh, 
staying cool. It's been like 110, 105 degrees here like every day. <laughs> um, okay, sad juice. We have the Devil, the Eight of Cups, the Moon, and the Magician. Yeah, um, because it does, it feels like there's just this idea of responsibility that is being put on you, you know, that just feels manipulative. You know, like, like it's not my job to tell you how to live your life. Like, why can't you do that? Like, why can't you figure that out for yourself? It's kind of what I feel like saying, but also feeling sad because if you feel responsible for people, even if it's not your job to be responsible for them, you know, like, and you've helped them along the way, like there is a sadness, there's a sadness there in breaking those cords, um, you know, but I feel like you're following your intuition because you, you know that your intuition is going to lead you to what it is that you're really wanting, um, you know, like that next on the chariot. Yeah. I mean, like maybe you guys are going on a trip, um, or maybe it's just that you're really making some major life changes. Um, you know, that are really like, you feel like when you can only hear the voices of codependency, um, you know, like it's hard for you to really focus on what it is that you're trying to create because you just constantly have this nagging sensation of what it is that you're supposed to be putting your attention on. But it like for no reason other than that, people don't want you to, you know, be able to develop, um, you know, like further beyond them and they don't want to have to actually grow. <laughs> you know what I mean? And the fortune fairy. The Two of Pentacles, Death, and the Ten of Cups. Yeah, I don't know, you guys. I feel like there really is, like, there's just an ending that's happening that, you know, it makes you feel sad, but it, like, also, I think there's a sense of relief because it's freeing you from this obligation um, and allowing you to really experience, you know, like, balance and emotional fulfillment because if you're constantly pouring into everybody else's cup um you know and it's i need i need i need then then when are you filling into your own cup you know like who's filling into yours um okay sagis the knave or yeah the knave of wands and the seven of swords um, you know, I kind of want to say again, it's this idea of a message. Um, the seven of swords is, is, you know, he's sneaking away with, um, enough weapons to fight should he need to, but he's also leaving some of his swords behind. Um, and I feel like you're trying to, um, you know, like be firm in your decision and be firm with what you're doing, um, so that you can go forward and, and move into this next arena of life. Um, but I think there's just a level of timidity that you're feeling about it. You know, the knaves aren't solid. The knaves are very, you know, like in the beginning type of energies. Um, and that's okay. You know, like sometimes you just got to start where you can, you know what I mean? Like you don't have to come in with full confidence. Um, you know, when you're tired, sometimes you've been helping other people so long that it's okay to, you know, to acknowledge the fact that you might need a little bit of help moving into that next arena. You know, like you're so depleted that you need to be filled back up again. Um, and I feel like you will be filled back up again, Sagis. I think that maybe you're just having to acknowledge that sometimes we can't be 100% when we want to go into that next. Oh, you're, I didn't know. You <laughs> no, you're fine. So everywhere, um, people that I didn't know. <laughs> I'm catching. Um, so that when you go into that next um, realm of life, um, you know, like you'll, you'll be able to regain that balance. You'll be able to fill your cup. You'll be able to feel like you can help, um, care for and sustain for, um, you know, things and not be in a situation where you're just constantly giving. Um, and I kind of want to just like, I feel like, like, I just want to encourage you and give you a hug and say, you know, it's going to be okay. You're going to get what you need. Um, and if you can't go in with, with like this, 
you know, like sense of courageous, you know, like I'm ready for this next thing. Don't, don't feel bad about coming in and saying, you know, like I'm, I'm broken, I'm exhausted, I'm depleted, but I want to do this and I've let go of that so that I can. You know what I mean? Like, I just want to say, like, trust that there will be a helping hand there for you. Um, you know, and the vision is the idea of, you know, like the like the bigger vision in life, right? Because sometimes, um, you know, like we hold on to, you know, these ideas of codependency because it, it satiates that immediate need of, like, feeling not alone. Um, and I kind of want to say that, like, what it has motivated you to release that um, has been an idea that you know that there's so much more for you um, and there's more for you in a way that doesn't leave you feeling depleted in a way that allows for you to intimately engage um, you know with yourself and with others and with you know like what it is that you see in your life um, and how it is that you can really move towards that in a big way. I love that for y'all, Saggies. I hope this resonates with you. Please, please, please give me a like, share, and subscribe if it does, um, and I will see y'all again soon. Thanks. Bye.